these things off. And this big old fella just walks around, it's like, Ugh! I don't know, looks kind of like one of those dumb and just more brawn than brains characters, you know? If you know what I mean, Jelly Bean. I gotta stop saying that! But I guess there's gonna be time for some cool commentary as we now have the arrow! I mean the bow. The hero's, hero's bow. Which is very, very convenient. This, you are going to love this weapon. Watch. One hit. And the, uh, the arrows. Arrows are everywhere. Arrows refill your, um, this thing. And they, it, uh, it can also cut open things. Oh. Step up. Wow. Okay, walk over to here, and then these guys will be activated. I guess you could say activated. You uh, break that. Oh, wrong one. Okay, that one. This one. You know, like one I'm facing. So you uh, beat that one. Now you can uh, move this thing around. Okay, let's get these things off so that they don't uh, burn us. Don't mess with me. It's kind of like my uh, art history teacher, but he'd say, Don't mess with me! Don't mess with me. Uh, yeah, enough with uh, people with funny accents. More people with funny accents, yay! So yeah, we have the big key. Yeah, this guy has like a weird accent. He's like, got, uh, he's painted and stuff. <laughs> Crazy guys meditating. Uh, what's in here? There's a purple rupee. Yay, 50 rupees and that. There's uh, one of those purple rupees in, uh, Link's house, which I think I might have gotten to, I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, let's uh, get the arrow ready. Bam! Immediate. Or kind of immediate. Super fast! Awesome stuff! So yeah, we got the big key ready, so we gotta go to the boss room. Uh, let me uh, check. Yeah, watch that cutscene, give me a minute. Okay, so yeah, this recording zone has been going on for like uh, half an hour or so. Uh, there's also these nasty creatures. Now this is what I like about the Wii version, you can uh, target things a lot. Now just like uh, Quadraxis 14 did in his uh, play or latest playthrough of Ocarina of Time, I will not be, uh, I will not be, uh, getting quiver upgrades. Yeah, so there are those slugs coming up, coming down from the sky. Now, these guys are kind of in my way. Yeah, just shoot an arrow into their mouths and you'll be beaten, apparently. I can't wait to arrow some Dodongos. Oh, uh, also knock these nasty creatures down. I think that's enough of them. Besides, gotta get those arrows. Oh crap! Oh well. Not a game over yet, but that was quite some fail. Could I get a game over in this room? Well, I guess. To not do that, I will have to uh, be conserving my many arrows. Oh man, I I'm just too much of a conservative, aren't I? Get it? Because of... oh jeez, oh my god! Do you see that? Link's his 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 uh, shoe was on the uh, like not on land. 
knock, knock those uh, nasty creatures off. They'll usually give out some nice old arrows for you. There's a blue ruby. There's a heart. Like heart hearts. And then uh, this. Doing this whole thing again. Upside down action. There's really gonna be some upside down action as I action like fighting things. Yeah. And being that Dongo then falls. Also, there's that switch we can hit from upside down. <laughs> it's kind of surprising how Link isn't letting it get to his head. So if I was doing things upside down, I'd be like, Ow, my head! My head... And my head would be hurting. Uh... Oh, you can go down way down. Boom! Ow. Well, uh, eh, sure, whatever. Uh, let's just, uh, let's just not press buttons randomly, as that would lead to a untimely death. Very unpleasant. I think there was a way from, uh, way back there where we could, uh, go back up, but whatever. Go back, uh, to where this thing leads us. But either way, you know, what's a couple minutes anyways? Because nothing really matters. By the way, now there are these things. They'll shoot things at you and yeah. But you can just throw arrows at them and they'll be beaten. I don't know how, I don't know why tech types like the spider things, tectites, replaced by those things, but whatever. Also, arrows beats, uh, arrows beat most, a lot of things in, uh, just one shot. One well-aimed shot, may I add. One well-aimed shot. It's all you need. It's all you need to something, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah. Apparently there's one there. Now let's get out of their eyesight as we can uh, snipe these from afar. Now let's kind of get a better perspective. There's gonna be uh, an item in this game that can up that you can use for your bow. And you can fu and you can uh, attack these things from afar much easier. But you know, with this with this uh, Wii version, you just uh, point your you know Wii mode and uh, make sure the red dot is right on the uh, the enemy you're trying to attack. And they'll usually hit. I think I got all of them down. Maybe there's one. Yeah, I don't think so. Also, we can blow up those! But that's not really important. What is important is to use an arrow to do this. No, ah! I'm running out of arrows. Unpleasant. Of course, there are arrows everywhere. My oh my, 20. I don't know how there gets to be 20 because it looks pretty much the same as, oh yeah, you gotta push this thing completely out of the way, and then this entrance will open, and it'll open up, open up, this is the police, also I think there's some, uh, those nasty creatures, isn't there like a, oh whatever, let's just, uh, oh yeah, there's a bomb over there, which I blew up, and that beats them all. Also, you can pick up their uh, arrows that miss. It's nice. Uh, here's a switch! And turns that thing on. I will demonstrate where that goes once... Oh, I guess I could have shown that. But yeah! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! 
Yeah, it goes up and down to pick you up, even though that's unimportant. I guess pretty much get your arrows out, get that, that's it. Well, pretty much that that uh, drop bridge goes down so you can go that way. That's, uh, of course, that is the way to the boss room, as I wouldn't have, uh, bothered to mess with that it otherwise. It otherwise. It otherwise. 